Okay, thank you. So just um, building on that, because I think maybe our interpretation of doing these assessments is perhaps different into what, in terms of what we would take into consideration. Um, hopefully, you won't mind if I kind of draw an analogy and seek your views on it. Um, I hope it's not too kind of reductionist, uh, but I think a kind of short thought experiment might be helpful in this case. Um, so the analogy, I guess, is if I were to, say, go to the park for a picnic and there's the potential for me to leave a lot of rubbish lying around, that's my environmental harm in this case. There are two potential routes for dealing with that. One, which I think is analogous to the agency's stance, would be I could mitigate for that by taking a bag to bring that rubbish home in. The other route, which I think is the equivalent of what you're suggesting, is I can leave that rubbish lying around because there happens to be an active community litter picking scheme that will compensate for my environmental harm in that way. Um, I suppose my question that remains there really is, do you see the parallels in that analogy and that one is the right course of action over the other? Um, I think I think you know what I'm going to say to that is no I don't see the parallels the parallel would be um, you picking all your litter up from the park but nonetheless the local planning authority having provided litter bins that you could put in okay so I guess the parallel in the appellant's case would be me leaving the, the rubbish lying around for the initiative to pick up would be analogous I think to allowing for example the killing of shad via entrapment because someone else is doing a really good job of improving their habitat linkages. And I think the linkage there with sort of game theory and the tragedy of the commons is quite clear and there's a real risk there. 